Beretta M951. I usually don't do gun videos, but this was kind of a special one, so I wanted to talk about it. Uh, Beretta, Beretta M951. First, I want to show this is not loaded. Magazine. Chamber's clear. All right, so Beretta M M9 1951. An interesting story about this gun. I was just surfing the web the other day, and um, I saw this Beretta come up for two hundred and seventy-five dollars. It was a pretty good price. It was a used gun, um, and uh, something about this gun reminded me about something. And I was like, oh, wait a minute, I've seen this before. Tony Montana in Scarface. He had this was his gun. Um, that kind of got me interested in it, but with some research, I found out that it actually wasn't his gun. This was, uh, he had a Beretta Cheetah, kind of similar but smaller. Um, then I kind of looked at what, what movies has this gun been in, in, in the U.S., and there hasn't been any movies uh, except for Scarface. It wasn't Scarface. It was used by one of the Colombians when, in the motel scene. If you guys remember the whole chainsaw deal, um, this is the gun that first appeared behind um, Angel Fuentes' back at when, when uh, they got ambushed. So the Colombians had this gun. So it was kind of interesting. I looked at it and I said, well, 275, I'm thinking, yeah, it can't be a get. You know, even if it doesn't shoot too good, I'll, I'll just get it. Um, but uh, I haven't shot this yet, but I got this. Um, didn't know what I was going to get because it was a surplus gun. Um, I was really curious about how old this gun is. This is an M9, again, 1951. It was in production from 1951 all the way to, I think, 1977. So I was really curious how old this gun is. Um, I looked all over for it. The uh, date stamp, Beretta date stamp, couldn't find it anywhere. I had the whole gun apart um, and nowhere to be found. Um, I called Beretta, asked him about it, and since this was a gun that was given to the Italian police force, they did not stamp it with any uh, date code. So I don't know what year this was made, but it's got a pretty early serial number. It was, it was uh, 2070 in the 20,000 range. I think they made about 90,000 of these. I read somewhere for, for the uh, Italian uh, police. So this, I'm guessing the age is to be in the late 60s to early 70s. So 50 year old gun, uh, approximately. Um, it looks in decent shape. Um, let's see, get this down now, we're going to uh, dismantle this, this is, uh, the way you dismantle it is, see this little trigger here, you're going to have to slide it back until it reaches right about here, it is a little bit of a pain to do, especially with oily hands right now, but The magazine has to be out before you open it. That's what the problem was. Okay, here we go. So it's open. Anyway, so I took the whole gun apart and cleaned it. And to my surprise, here's a barrel. We'll take the barrel out here. There we go. my surprise, I don't know if you can see this, this barrel looks like it has not been shot very much at all for, 50, for a 50 year old gun. Um, the rifling is all there, there's no pitting. So whoever had this in the Italian peace, police force, and maybe you know a few cops had it, um, wasn't shot very much. So this shoots, should shoot really nice. Okay, I got the barrel back in. I had to stop the camera again because my hands are pretty kind of greasy and that just doesn't. So anyway, so you got this back in. Throw this back. We'll put it back to here. And the magazine has to be out when we do this.
Let's position the camera a little better here. Much better. There we go. In. Back together. Uh, so it should be a really nice shooting gun. I haven't had a chance to take the range to shoot it, but I plan to do it very soon. It's 9 millimeter. The one thing that's not that great about this gun is its trigger. I mean, that's only because I'm so used to shooting 1911s and they're, they're just beautiful triggers. If you look at, um, you know, it's got it's a pretty strong trigger pull, but it's pretty, you know, it's not as nice. I'm sorry, not as strong. It was pretty crisp trigger pull, but not as nice as 1911. But hey, for $275, this is a very nice 9mm with a lot of history. Very nice. So like I said, I have not taken it to the range yet. What I have here, these are not live, this is not live ammo. These are 9mm stainless steel snap caps. We can use these just to check the operation of the gun. Just make sure that it cycles correctly. So I'm loading three dummy rounds. And what I want to check with this is I want to see if it cycles, how well it cycles. So let's make sure this is go. Get that in there. Great. So get magazine with snap caps. Pull it slide back, let it fall. I can see that the bullet's been seated very nicely. Boom. Eject one. Boom. Eject two. Boom. Eject three and slide locking back. See how nicely that uh, that works? So I know I have a good feeling it's going to work real nice with real ammo. So, um, kind of inter another interesting story about this gun. Um, so I got this online. It's a great deal. I think th I, I'm really good with this gun. But a friend of mine was uh, sending me some links regarding um, the election and uh, Biden Harris campaign, the Democrats. It's you know they sent me a link to the website. This is the, uh, uh, Joe Biden's website where um, what he wants to do as far as gun control as soon as he gets in office, and uh, it's just out there. You can really just Google Joe Biden gun control. You'll it'll come up to his. Uh, uh, you get to his website anyway. One of the things he said is, I mean, there's lots of things he says, now, but one thing that really stands out with, with this gun is that he wants to end all online sales of any firearms any ammunition and any, any uh, part, any uh, gun parts. So I would have never been able to get this if Biden Harris were in office. Um, I'm not telling you how to vote, but if you are a gun guy, I would highly encourage you to, to go to uh, Joe, and you are voting for Joe Biden, go to his website and see what his policy, his gun policy on it's uh, pretty scary. So just wanna let you know that. Um, also for the record, you really can't you know, buy guns online. I mean, what I did is I saw this online. What I could do is order it and send it to my local federal firearms uh, dealer, you know, gun store. It arrives there. I go to the gun store. They perform a background check. If the waiting period applies for me, I have to do the waiting period and everything. So you can't just order guns online. And I think it's kind of a misnomer. So just people, people who are watching this video don't know about that. So, um, just think about that. Um, so if you're a gun person, you like this, this is a nice gun, uh, you'd like to get deals like this online, you're not going to get it when um, uh, Biden's in the office and he gets his way. But forget about that. Uh, for now, I'm really happy with this. I can't wait to shoot it. Maybe I can make a, another video once I get out to the range. Again, Beretta 1951, M1951, 9 millimeter. Um, see if there's anything else I can say about this gun. Um, I don't know. This is just nice. I like old guns. I like history. 
I'm really curious what the story behind this one was and what policeman or maybe even more than one policeman uh, used this. It, you can see that it's got very a lot of wear on uh, the sides, like it's been in and out of the holster quite a bit. But as you guys saw in the um, barrel, it hasn't been shot very much at all.